To activate the Geopack Planning Profile Sheet application, we select Applications, Geopack Road, Plans Preparation, Planning Profile Sheet Composition. When the tool activates, it will open up into a default sheet library. First, we must select a custom sheet library. To do that, we select File, Sheet Library, Attach, then we navigate to the location of our sheet library. Next, we should select a sheet from our sheet library. To do this, you click on the pick list and select a sheet from the library. In our case, we're going to select PLPR40. Then I'm going to set a scale of 40 to also match the sheet from the sheet library. Then we should set a sheet composition. To do this, we click on the sheet composition icon. From here, we select which sheet composition we desire. In our case, we're going to use radial. I'm also going to set a station range of 560 feet. Now we're ready to lay out our clipping boundaries. To do that, we click on the layout sheets icon. First, we need to set a job number. Our job number is 817. Then, we need to set up our plan and our profile ports. To do this, you double click on the respective port. First, we're going to set up our plan port. So I double click on port 1. This will open up the plan port data dialog. I need to select a chain. That BL817 is our chain that we're going to use. So I select that and I click OK. Next, I need to set up my profile port. So I double click on that. I select a profile from my, my list. To populate the rest of the dialog, I can use the Identify Cell button. When I click on that, I graphically identify the profile cell, then I accept it with another data point. That populates the dialog. Since I'm through with that now, I can click OK. Now that I have set up both of my ports, the Sheet Layout dialog is populated with the station ranges and an approximate number of sheets that I should expect. Next, I would like for my sheets to end and begin on an even station. To do accomplish this, I need to set an extend distance here. So I'm going to use a negative 8.57 and then I will click on the Layout Sheets button. Now you can see that all the clipping shapes are placed for the plan view as well as the profile view. Before proceeding, there are a couple of levels that I would like to turn off so that they're not displayed on my sheets. To do this, I click on the Level Display option in MicroStation. In the main file, I'm going to turn off the clip borders. Also in the Profile file, I'm going to turn off the Excess Cell level. Next, I need to do a file, Save Settings. At this point, we're ready to clip our sheets. So next, we should click on the Clip Sheets icon. I need to enter a sheet name prefix. I can also enter a sheet title and a project number. Now I'm ready to process my sheets. To do that, I click on the Process Sheets button. Once the process has completed, I can close down all my dialogs and open up any sheet file and review my work.